Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Money Wise channel, a place where we talk about inspirational things and the process of setting up goals, because setting up goals is so important. Today, we will be going through some emails, so keep sending me emails. I'm going to get to them. When you see me, let's talk about some things so I can have ideals to speak on so just keep sending them keep letting me know what you guys want me to speak on and keep watching the videos and subscribing I'm watching that subscriber number grow up and it's it's exciting to see so let's keep it going um, someone asked me about being obsessed with something and is that right or is it wrong and um, so I'm going to give my opinion my perspective you know some facts on this situation we're gonna call this video basically obsession and um, we'll just speak on it from that level first of all to be obsessed or obsession is a is to preoccupy or fill the mind of someone or something that's continually in um, it can be intrusive uh, let's say and it could be to a point of a troubling extent. So, you know, it's a pre, you can preoccupy the mind of someone continually, you know, and be pushed to a troubling extent. It could be obsession also going to be preoccupied with a um, constant worry of something. You could also look at it as a high level of focus. Obsession could be. Um, it could be a concentrated thought, a laser type focus. Obsession can be a mind that's under a specific, specific control. Obsession could be not taking no for an answer. Obsession could be pushing past other people's opinion. So as you see, there's some things that can go good or bad with being obsessed so this I like to look at it from this point though I like the whole thing of the high level of focus you know that's more where I, um, I'm more when I look at obsession that's kind of how I would look at it but let's just step back into the preoccupied constantly worried about something let's look at that for a second all right so let's say we all know people that are obsessed with the bad things of the world, right? Things that just don't always go right for them. Even if something's going right, they'll say, oh, you know how life is. There's a, they're just obsessed with things going wrong. And they always get what they go after. You know, they say, if you campaigning for it, you can't get mad when you're elected. You know, play stupid games, get stupid prizes. So if you always are pushing the energy for something bad then you can't be upset when something bad happens because we attract who we are we bring these things to ourselves you know so we have to be conscious of these things so but my outlook is I like to look on the other side of obs obsession and being obsessed as far as high level focus concentrated thought you know when you really want something you really want to see something happen you have to become obsessed with it you have to really focus on it at the highest level you know you really have to concentrate your thought on it and bring that to yourself you know I'm talking about laser focus you have to continually get up every day see it in your mind and physically get after it you know because faith without works is dead so you have to get up go do it push yourself get excited about it even if you don't see it in front of you physically it's like I have a video called vision you have to go check it out check it out it's called vision and in that I break down that vision is not what you see physically is what you see in your mind it's a spiritual thought it's a spiritual sight 
So through your vision, you see past your physical situation. You could be in a projects broke with no money, but your vision could be mansions, beautiful cars, or just a peaceful life, whatever that is to you. You know, see yourself on a beach, whatever that may be. You know, it could be a beach in Ohio or be a beach, beach in my Miami, California, depends what you're after. Everybody has a different level of what brings them peace, but you will be able to see it. And that's how you have to look at it. But you have to have a concentrated, concentrated, woo, I mean, just high level of focus, become obsessed with whatever you're after. Many people make dream boards, right? They put it there and then they walk away. But the, the ultimate dream board is in your brain, in your mind that you focus on it every day because some people have dream boards that have dust on them so it's so important that you focus your mind on it and you steadily uh, find a steady flow towards what you're after you know um, you want to be conscious of with obsession and let your mind get under the specific control of something else like some people say they're addicted to social media so now anything that they're scrolling past, they become obsessed with because now that's influencing them in everything they're doing. So you got to be conscious who you follow, who you pay attention to, um, because too much of it, if it's wrong, if it's not something you want to live under, will become your life. You know, being obsessed too. if you're really about doing something that's successful, it's going to help you push back past people saying no you know you know everything in your life you say no you can't be a painter or whatever it is um but if you become obsessed with being a painter or artist or whatever it is that you want to be you can push past other people's opinions you know you get past their opinion because it won't matter to you you hear it you saw what they said but your vision will push you past that and that's what you gotta become obsessed with greatness sit down write your goals down make it plain because that's what people would say well okay well how do i handle this type of energy called upset obsession or being obsessed with something this is how you do it get a piece of paper write down your plans write it down make it plain every day read it every day write it in your phone you can read it in your phone if you don't want to put it on paper but i like to write things down and put it in my phone every day look in the mirror look in the mirror in your eyes say it to yourself see it in your mind when you're, when you're sitting and you're relaxing imagine continue to push this energy to yourself become obsessed with it like that if it's a certain amount of money if it's like i want twenty thousand dollars okay you got to become obsessed with that. You got to think about it all the time. It's got to be sitting on the tip of your brain. It's got to get in your subliminal. And then you just go get busy. Go do anything that can bring in $20,000. Now, you can't do stuff that like go outside and sell lemonade for 50 cent uh, a cup for 20,000. You know, that might be take a little might be a little harder if you're talking about just the mathematics. Now, could you sell lemonade and one person walk up and give you a check for 20000 Yes. But I'm saying make it easier on yourself. If you're going to do the lemon stand, also have some other products there like candy bars. and Just add more stuff to it that when people walk up, and don't, don't ask them for 20000 But just put other products there that when they walk up, they will feel the spirit of you and the love of you and they might just give you the money. But I say just open up things that you know that money can come in like that, uh, build different streams, and I believe you will get what you're looking for, you know. So just become obsessed and focus about what you're after and um, enjoy your life. <laughs> and remember this, no matter what you're going through, smile, always smile. <laughs> and also remember, plans may change, but goals stay the same. Like and subscribe to this Money Wise channel and I'll see you on the next video. Okay? Yep. <laughs>